We bought an EcoFlow Delta Pro portable power station and an extra battery giving us 7.2 kilowatt hours of stored power. And we picked up three 400 watt foldable solar panels. We wanted the ability to boondock in unique locations and have some peace of mind if power outages might occur. We also bought two soft start RV modules so that we can run both of our AC units on one 30 amp output. Let's see what happens when you try to run the entire RV and both AC units on our EcoFlow Delta Pro system. Soft Start RV. I've been reading about it, looking into it, and we're going to put these on both AC units. What these will do, in, you know, when your AC runs, that initial hit when it turns on, and you know when it goes on and off, on and off all day long, it's just that initial hit to turn on the AC takes so much, so many amps and so much juice. So what this is supposed to do is alleviate that issue. It's supposed to slowly ramp it up so it starts. Uh, let it run continuously it's a lot easier on your compressor so at the very least we will prolong the life of the ac it'll run quieter doesn't look too hard to install i don't think you have to uh, clip any of these wires and and do all kinds of electrical nonsense hello friends today i would like to talk about the soft start in conjunction with our EcoFlow system. If you're not familiar with soft starts, basically you hook them up to your AC units and what they do is they they hold energy so that when your AC unit kicks on it's not sucking a ton of amps like it normally would. RV AC units are famous for just using so much energy. Not just the amps that they use but how much they consume while they're running. I mean it's they're not efficient at all. That's one of the challenges people face when they put solar on their RV is the AC. You put enough solar and you have a, a, a few good batteries, you can run everything else for days and days, maybe even weeks if you're recharging it with a, a few solar panels. But the AC, if it's hot out or you need to use that AC, it just sucks the juice out of it. And we did quite a bit of testing with our EcoFlow Delta Pro system. There were some very positive things and some serious failures. In the summer heat of Florida, forget about it. You're not running your ACs and being comfortable in your RV with the system that we have. And we have a pretty juicy system. So that's where the soft start comes in because the soft start will allow your AC units to start up without taking a huge amp push right at the beginning. My solar batteries have a 30 amp output. My RV runs ideally at 50 amps. The soft starts, what they allow you to do is take a 30 amp connection and allows you to run both ACs and the rest of the RV without any issues. There's a lot of state parks that we go to. This one is a perfect example. It's an older state park. It's only got a 30 amp hookup. It runs. I can run both. A I have tested that. This is the first time I've tested running both ACs off of a 30 amp and it works like a charm. I've done it the past couple days. We've slept all throughout the night, had both ACs in there, kept it at a comfortable temperature, say 76 degrees and no problem we slept like babies perfect so the big question on my mind and probably your mind can my EcoFlow system do the same thing off the 30 amp output I believe it can because the EcoFlow batteries that I have can output 3500 watts easy so I don't think it's gonna be an issue and I think with the startup on both of these the amperage is gonna run fine it's not gonna strain the system too much so that's gonna be our main test today I am looking forward to really running these EcoFlow batteries in a boondocking situation. Like I said, we've done a lot of testing with them. We ran all night on them in Florida. I tried running all day and all night with the solar panels hooked up and there, there was a lot of victories and a lot of failures, but it was the summer heat of Florida. That's not the place you are gonna thrive with solar on your RV unit unless you just have this thing stacked. Now let's see what happens when I hook up my EcoFlow batteries and run both AC units. I don't think it's going to be a problem, but you never know. 30 amp hookup. Man, this is just so old. <laughs> That's why you always, always need a surge protector on your RV. So the 50 amp goes in there, and then you got a 50 amp normally that you would plug into your, your outlet, but then we have to convert it down to 30. So there it is. And it's running both ACs just fine. So now we're going to hook this up to the EcoFlow. 
and see what happens. You turn that on. Now it's only got 53% juice because I had it in storage, but it'll be enough for us to do what we're doing here. I turn that on and boom, the RV is now powered up. You can see what kind of juice we're using here. So it's showing the input. This input's coming from the second battery over here. Each of these batteries are storing 3,600 watt hours of juice. So do you know what we're doing here? Um, we're running the RV off of the solar and the battery. Yeah, but then what? And then I can watch TV. You know, that's what it is. It's all about keeping my wife happy. Yeah. She doesn't know quite what I'm doing, but... <laughs> but i and i appreciate that but we're going to run both acs off this and see how if if we can use our uh, soft starts to make it work oh okay although right now we don't even really need both acs because we're in such a nice climate i know but it would be nice to be able to run both if we needed to so let's go do it okay let's go let's go my beautiful assistant is going to turn on the first ac in the bedroom down to 73 right yep Okay. All right, we're set to 73. And we have a C. So there's the EcoFlow app running one AC. I'm about to plug, I'm about to turn on this other one and see what we got. That's 70 degrees on here. <clears throat> so what it does is it stores energy and then it kicks on. And you'll start to see the amps bump up on this, or the output bump up on this. That's awesome. There it is. So 2,700 watts, 2,900 watts. It's running both 3,000 watts. It's running both ACs at the same time. These batteries are awesome. What do you think about that, baby? I think that's awesome. We're going to be able to boondock and have run this the whole system. Yeah. While we're charging and everything. It's going to be great. That's great. That's awesome right there. Wow. Amazing. <clears throat> and if I turn this up to, say, 75 and turn the other one up to 75, it'll just stay, it'll keep this place nice and comfortable. Put this one up to 75. And then it'll stay nice and comfortable in here. So I'm gonna let this run. After I put them both on 75, I'm gonna let this run for a little while just to make sure that it's, it's working the way I think it's gonna work, but it looks good to me. It's incredible. What a great system. All right, so both the ACs have been running. They both kicked off. So this is what the RV is running on right now. A total output of 260 watts, which includes the the refrigerator, the lights, maybe a couple TVs or, or TV and some, you know, just some small stuff. But as you can see, it, it, it'll just run and run and run. And it's at 50%. It says 11 hours at this pace. And, if you know, if you're charging... Uh, if you're charging this regularly, we've got 1,200 watts of solar panels, then obviously you're going to want to be at a high percentage at the uh, end of the day, at least 50%, maybe 60%, and then it should carry you through the night, no problem, really. 